Green screen, which is also called chroma key, is easy to do if you have the right editing tools. The more sophisticated video editing software programs have green screen, but simple free programs like Windows Movie Maker do not allow you to do green screen. This is Final Cut Express, an Apple software program that sells for about $300. I used it the other day to do this Stephen Colbert green screen challenge. And as I was reading comments on the forum, I saw several people who said they really wanted to enter that contest but didn't know how on a technical level to edit it. So I thought I'd put together this really quick tutorial. I did the whole process in about three hours. First, I downloaded the video of John McCain giving a speech from the show's website. It was in QuickTime format, a little less than 10 megabytes. I imported it into Final Cut seamlessly. QuickTime will go into most programs, but certainly it will go into any Apple program since QuickTime itself is the Apple format. But it should go into most programs. And then I did the green screen by adding a video filter. No matter what video editing software you use, green screen will probably be found in the form of a video filter. Video filters allow you to do all kinds of special effects, and green screen is one of the more commonly used filters. In Final Cut, filters are found under Effects, Video Filters. In this case, Key is the filter category you want to choose. Under Key, you have the choice of blue green screen, chroma key and color key as well as luma key which is a brightness adjustment. Now these are all variations on the same technique of chroma key. And all of the color keys are fairly similar so just choose one depending on precisely what color your background is. In this case I chose the green screen because the Colbert folks had put John McCain in front of the standard lime green background that has been shown to work best for chroma keying skin tones. I put the video of John McCain on line 2. I put the video that I wanted behind him on line one. And then, after I had the filter on there, I adjusted the color level, the color tolerance, the edge, all of the details of the filter, and I got the green background to behind John McCain to disappear. And I replaced it with this video of the flag. Now, the edges aren't perfect because the video of John McCain was compressed down very small for easy download so I had to blow it up to about 350 percent original size which is easy to do in a program like Final Cut but you couldn't do it in Windows Movie Maker. Then I cropped out all the clutter on the bottom using the crop tool. So there you have it that's basically how I did it. Pretty easy huh? For video production tips I'm Lorraine Grula. Thank you for watching.